welcome back to Tina's Test Kitchen. Today is Saturday. It's super hot in Arizona today, 118 degrees. Whew. All right, so I am in the kitchen cooking some chicken dishes. I've got a couple of them done. I still have a few more to go. This one, all in 20 minutes. Pretty easy, pretty fast. Not a whole lot of list of ingredients, but today I am making a lemon chicken with a creamy cheese sauce. So let's get started on the list of ingredients. Obviously, I'm gonna be using some chicken. You need about two cups of chicken, whether it's chicken breast that you are cooking from being frozen, or you can even use rotisserie chicken, which is what I'm doing today. This is gonna be from my chickens that I buy at Costco or Sam's Club. I'll typically buy about six or seven, bring them home and break them down, put them in my food saver bags, in the freezer they go, and it's perfect for this kind of recipe. I'll also need one cup of my heavy whipping cream, two cups of my chicken broth, two cups of my baby spinach, a cup and a half of my orzo pasta, two tablespoons of my butter, as well as one tablespoon of my olive oil. I need a quarter cup of my lemon juice, as well as a quarter cup of my chopped onion. And finally, three quarters of a cup of my freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Let's get started because this sounds amazing. All right, so on to our next part of getting our orzo noodles cooked. We are gonna go ahead and turn on our pilot here for our dish. I have the olive oil and the butter already in the pan. I'm just gonna let that melt down a little bit. Okay, so our butter is all melted. I have my onions. I did put some garlic in here as well, just because I like garlic, so it adds a lot of flavor to the dish. Okay, so I'm gonna let these simmer for about 30 to 40 seconds. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the orzo noodles. And I know you're probably wondering why I'm not cooking my orzo noodles first. Um, this, you guys, will help. A, it's gonna to toast the orzo noodles give them a little bit of a crunch and color and it's also going to infuse them with the garlic as well as the onions and the salt and pepper. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my orzo noodles. Give it a couple of quick stirs. I'm going to let this brown for a couple of minutes and then I'll be adding the lemon juice as well as the chicken broth. This smells so, so good. All right, we'll let that cook down for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm not a huge fan of Starbucks. Not because I don't like the company, but just because I don't drink coffee, but I've been swindled into buying two Starbucks cups in the past week. This one, you guys, is gonna be my Epcot cup. And this cup is so super cool. And then the other cup that I have is like a blue sparkly cup. Which is this one. I stopped into my local Aubertons last week for a uh, bottle of water and some bread for my husband. They didn't have the bread. I bought a bottle of water and I saw this passing by on uh, the Starbucks in my store. And you guys, this is my favorite color. So of course I couldn't leave the store without buying it. But here's the thing. It's not double insulated, so it doesn't hold ice for very long. And I'll be honest with it being 120 degrees here in Arizona, almost. Um, it makes it a little bit difficult to constantly fill my cup with ice. So I'm going to move that to being my winter cup. And this one I bought on Shop Disney. So I thought this was super cool. It's got the iridescent um, patches on it. And this is just a super cool cup. Okay, so now back to the recipe. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken broth as well as the lemon juice. I am gonna bring that to a boil a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my, um, the heavy whipping cream. 
followed by the Parmesan cheese, then my chicken, and then lastly, our spinach. When I add the spinach though, I am gonna cover um, the pan and let that simmer down just so that way the, the spinach has a chance to cook. All right, so now this has had a chance to boil a little bit. I am gonna go ahead and add the heavy whipping cream. Giving that a quick stir. And this should take about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add some pepper as well as some salt. down just a little bit. So up next is going to be the cheese as well as the chicken. I'll do the cheese first and let that melt down and then I'll go ahead and add the chicken and then top it off with some spinach and then we will be good to go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add the cheese. And again, this is about three quarters of a cup of the freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Give that a quick stir. Turn that down a little bit more. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken. You guys, orzo noodles to me kind of remind me of like rice aroni. I don't know why. Maybe because they look like the same rice in the rice aroni. All right, next is the spinach. Let me stir this once more and then I'm gonna turn the heat off. Spread it to make sure that it's even all the way around. I'm gonna turn the heat down even more. I'm gonna add the spinach to the very top. And again, it calls for about two cups of spinach. I'm just gonna do two handfuls of spinach. That works. All right, I'm gonna cover it. and come back in about two minutes. All right, this dish is all set. Spinach is cooked, let's give it a try. All right, so it is all finished and here's what it looks like. You can see the little orzo pastas in there, the chicken, the cream sauce, and the spinach. Now, let's give it a try. My favorite part of the video. So again, gonna add a little bit of salt and some pepper. And you guys, I'm not gonna eat a whole lot just simply because I haven't eaten dinner yet. And I think we're gonna have the barbecued chicken on our slider buns for dinner because I've been smelling that since this morning and it smells super good. So let's give this dish a try. I'm gonna grab some spinach, some noodles, and make sure that I grab some chicken. Mmm. You guys, this is really, really good. You can definitely taste the lemon, which is a good thing. Lemon is one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite flavors. You can definitely taste the cheese and the garlic. Mmm.
Very, very good. All right, there you have it, another great meal. Okay, three down, two to go, stay tuned. Please, again, you guys, as always, please like and subscribe to my channel, I appreciate it. Have a great day and until the next video, bye-bye.